I am so happy to finally be able to give you guys the random cloud. I have been working on the sidelines to make sure I have my scheduling right, I have time and efficiency and also enough ideas because random cloud isn't going to be like my pod fix where I, you know, have a whole list of ones I could do if one runs out. Uh, it's not like my uh, fanfic cloud where uh, I have a list of fanfics that I could go to and every weekly video is about the same thing. This is going to be completely random and by completely random I mean it's going to kind of be sometimes related to fanfiction or My Hero Academia. Like for example today, uh, ranking uh, AO3 tropes or tags or stuff like that, right? Uh, I, I couldn't find it. <laughs> We're doing two. Two ranks because I found two of them that uh, interest me, right? It's it's fanfic related, but um, one day you might just get on here and be like, oh, well, that has nothing to do with My Hair Academia or fanfiction, but somehow it still does. Like, for example, um, playing some games. Like, I don't know, some dating games? Uh, which you could kind of tie back to fan fiction if you squint really hard enough <laughs> um but yeah i'm so excited to be able to provide this for you guys especially considering now that thursdays and fridays i don't have a video coming out uh as of right now um hopefully that could change in the nearby future as i mentioned before scheduling and stuff like that we both have busy lives things happen stuff happens uh i'm really happy that you guys are supportive of the fact that i am not able to give you guys that um i do highly encourage if you really want to read ahead go ahead and read ahead do not make me stop you i have read this multiple times already i'm not at all at cliff hanged you guys are uh but yeah go ahead and down and and read ahead i'm currently still situating stuff but that's enough of the intro i think we should start with the actual main content of the video okay as i mentioned we're gonna be doing two uh two two ranks this one which is a fan fiction trope tier list or ranks. I don't know why I call them ranks. Uh, oh, cause rank. Yeah, whatever. Uh, and the uh, AO3 tropes because fan fiction, All right? I will put these two in the link in the description. Uh, this one I didn't modify at all. This one I did kind of change the wordings here. So I do not know what's going to say on your end. I kind of forgot. <laughs> but I did modify what these say a bit because uh, I don't remember why. I've had these I've had these tabs open for quite a while, quite a while I do say. Um, but let's get started, right? S, A, B, C, and D tier. We're gonna start with obviously alpha, beta, and omega. Okay, I found this tag interesting sometimes if it is well written. And by well-written, I mean, I really love, there was this one I read a long, long time ago. I don't even remember what ship it was or what fandom it was. The only thing I remember was like, basically the, I forget if it was the Alpha or the Omega, didn't have a sense of smell. And it was a whole thing of in itself and the whole um, ordeal, like the ship was the side story. The ship was the side story. The main story was this uh, uh, character whose sense of smell is practically gone and having to traverse the world um, and obviously other alphas, betas, and even omegas were like looking down on this person because haha, you can't even smell, how are you gonna find your mate kind of thing. I don't know, genuinely, if well used can be really good, you know? Um, I don't really like those smutty, just to be smutty, uh, alpha, beta, and omega fix. Not my deal, not my cup of tea, no thank you. If that suits you, that suits you. That does not suit me otherwise. But hey, to each their own, to each their own. Personally, I like to this to be used as more of a plot device and less of the whole plot to begin with, you know? Like, they're in this world, this is introduced, this is introduced, and it's not just a bunch of hormones out there, you know? Anesthesia thick. Wait, hold up. Add row below, F. And we're gonna give that one a blue because there's no blue. No, wait, hold up. Oh, I'm changing the one above. Okay, that's my bad. 
Hold up. Now I want to change the colors of this because this is bugging me, I think. I don't know why I said I think. If it's bugging me, it's bugging me. What the... F okay. Sorry. I was about to curse. That was about to be on my bad. Okay. C, 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 C should be green. Oh, it should be this green. Right? And uh, this would be D. Uh, this would be F. And uh, I would make this one this. And then this one purple. All right. There we go. I hate it. I hate it. And you know why I hate it? When I used to read the dark old days, the days where I didn't know what AO3 was, I read on Wattpad. Yep. Dark secret. Dark secret. I read on Wattpad. I do not recommend it. There is some good fix there. Not saying that there is not good fix, but there is a multitude of not so great fix because that site, I feel, is like the starter site, in, in my opinion. The anesthesia whole trope, the whole, oh no, I forgot. We were totally in a romantic, you know, I, I hate it. I hate it so much. The only time I could think of that would make it interesting is instead of developing this whole romantic thing and like either they're about to get together or they get together and then you just erase all that, that is frustrating. That is really frustrating. And unless you really build that up and you have to have really good pacing and uh, it just, it feels like a cheapskate, uh, not climax, but a cheapskate uh, plot device, right? The only way I think that this would actually genuinely work is, um, and it would be a bit easier to, you know, write it, is if we do a whole in the beginning, right? We get a chapter and we see that these two are really in love or whatever, and all of a sudden, tragedy strikes. Now, it goes from being frustrating because, let's say it was a slow burn and you, you know, you're sitting here and you're reading this whole thing and, like, it builds up and then it gets all destroyed and you're just like, what the hell? What was... It makes you, like, feel like, why did I sit here and waste my time kind of thing? But if you do it straight off in the beginning, right, it becomes the whole, like, ugh, frustrated to, oh, now it's an interesting dynamic. Everything that should be interesting about this is not overwritten by the fact that you're frustrated because everything you built upon got destroyed and everything you basically were sitting there and reading got destroyed and you don't feel like your time got wasted. You're sitting there and thinking, oh... How is the couple going to prevail instead of, what the hell, why did I read this? This was a waste of my time. Angst. S tier. Can we really, can we really? It's, it's October 1st when I'm recording this. You could see here. It's October 1st. And hell if I'm about to read all the Womptober fanfics that are about to come out this month. October is my favorite month. October is my favorite month for fan art, fan fiction, Fandom goes crazy on October. Crazy. Arranged marriage. I'm also putting it in C, right? But it's just slightly above uh, alpha, beta, and omega. Because arranged marriage could be a really interesting trope if done properly and, and, and stuff like that, right? Clearly, it, it is a cliche, right? But cliches can still be good. It's just you cross over, you know, a little bit of... Um, of a, a dangerous territory of uh, just being repetitive, or not repetitive, but a bland story that blends in with the rest kind of situation. So uh, most of the time when I really do enjoy arranged marriage, it's mixed up with something else. Like, I don't know, ABO or um, I'm trying to find one over here. Royalty AU, that's, a, that's interesting. That's interesting, you know. Or mixed with, um, I don't know, enemies to lovers. Ooh, those two are a really good combination, right? Um, a lot of these tropes, standalone, aren't as great, but mixed with others become so much more elevated, right? Like angst, standalone angst, I'm gonna say it, is horrible. It's why I really dislike Euphoria. And as much as I could have... <sighs> Look, when it comes to reading fan fiction and reading books, I it needs to be good, otherwise I can't read it. Um, it, it doesn't matter if... You know, it's a, it's a good author, or if it's... It needs to be well-written, like, decently, at the very least, for me to sit and actually enjoy it. Uh, shows and movies, on the other hand, I could turn off my brain and consume garbage like a goat. Angst, standalone, is just horrible. Mix this with other things. Angst alone is horrible, right? 
It's like eating salt by itself, right? I'd like to think of angst as salt. You cannot just consume freaking salt, right? It's, it's too bitter. You forcefully need it with something else, right? Angst with arranged marriage. You get a nice seasoned arranged marriage. Angst with uh, alpha, beta, and omega. Angst with amnesia fic. Angst with co uh, college AU, coffee shop AU. It needs to be mixed with something else, you know? Um, I think if it's just angst to be angst, it it's not good. I sit here. like If you enjoy angst to be angst, good on you, great on you. Personally, I really don't enjoy it. I need a little more substance. As I said, even in shows, I'm a bit picky about that. Again, Euphoria was like a whole thing that I just... I really did not enjoy Euphoria. Euphoria was quite unenjoyable for me. Moving on, uh, baby fic. Okay, I'm putting it in C. I'm putting it above arranged. Well, mm, I'm now I'm gonna sit here and think about this. Above, below, above, below. I think I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in the middle for now. I might switch it over a bit later down. Um, but baby fix. I'm not a big fan of them. Surprise, shocker, uh, considering I really do love present Mike, uh, not present Mike, Eraser Mike adopts Izuku Midoriya. Um, I guess it just depends, you know, it, it depends on the, the, the ship, it depends on the stuff. Um, baby fix are growing on me a bit. Okay, I'll put it above arranged marriage. <laughs> okay, sharing a bed. A. <laughs> The whole, oh no, there's only one bed trope. I love that. It is, I love that. Okay, no, I'm putting it in B. I'll be realistic. I'll put it in B. Like, for example, arrange marriage, mix with this, and then add a baby fic. We got a good story. You know, we got a good story. Add, add alpha, beta, and omega, and we're, we're, we're good. We are good. Okay, bang or die. F. I'm putting the amnesia fic above that. That's how, that's how you know it's bad. <laughs> That's how you know it's bad. I do not like bang or die. Nope, 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 nope. It, it's giving, it's giving non-consensual. It's giving non-Kong. And I am not a fan of non-Kong. Thank you very much. When I see that archive warning, I'm like, nope, bye-bye. Mm-mm, not doing this. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Okay, body swap. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. I know a lot of people really like the body swap. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the body swap unless it is it is specific to ships. For example, a racer head and uh, uh, a racer head and present Mike. I don't know why I'm using their hero names. Shota and Hisashi. I do not would not like a body swap there, but something like Izuku and uh, Katsuki. Interesting. Or Katsuki and Todoroki. And why is that interesting? Because of their already dynamic. So this is dependent on the people who are swapping. We need a good dynamic. Or for example, I don't know, uh, Shota and, and uh, Izuku, right? It would be interesting because it gives perspective to the other person. It's no longer just a body swap. It is about the other characters understanding each other's situation, right? Like... Katsuki with uh, Sh uh, Shoto, right? Shoto sees uh, uh, Katsuki's home life or whatever. I, I really love the whole Katsuki has like family issues and just other issues and stuff like that, which I will, I got into, I believe, yesterday's video in uh, the fanfic cloud, the whole quirk society thing and how it would most likely be real. I won't get into it this time because obviously I already got into it once. I'm not going to repeat myself, but obviously seeing that and then Katsuki seeing uh, how Todoroki's life is, you know, with, with Endeavor being his father and stuff like that. It's all these little stuff that really shapes it. Um, so it is, it is a D for now because on its standalone, on its own with like any pairing, eh, but it does change the second it becomes different pairings, right? The second it becomes different pairings. Okay, coffee shop AU. I give it an A because this is fluffy, this is nice, I like it. College AU. 
I'll put it here. I'll put it above a uh, arranged marriage. I'm not a big fan of college AU. Uh, I don't read that much of those. But yeah, but coffee shop AU, uh, you know, it's 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 good. Okay, crack fic. I put it S tier because I swear to God, every crack fic I have ever read, somehow the the the, the author is just like, haha, lol. This is just a crack fic, not being serious, lol. And they write a masterpiece, or not a na masterpiece, but for example, there is this one fanfic that I I got approved to podfic, and it is a crack fic. It is clearly a crack fic, right? The writing isn't good, <laughs> right? Or not that it isn't good. It's clearly the pacing needs a little more work. It's clearly a fic written for laughs and good jokes and comedy and less of it being a serious masterpiece like, I don't know, Arcane or, or, or like anything Cloud writes. Um, it, it, it's, it's good in its own verse, right? Obviously, do I think the pacing is good? No, I feel like the pacing is a bit bad, right? Um, do I feel like the writing is always the best? Actually, the writers, the writing devices that they use, like the the actual writing style that they use, is actually really good. I really do like it. Um, is it entertaining? Absolutely. That is what absolutely rocks it. That is what saves the pacing because it is it, it's fast paced because it is kind of a comedy. It's 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 a crack fic. It's supposed to be an enjoy pure base fic, right? It's supposed to be junk food. <laughs> That's how I like to think of crack fics. Junk food. It's not supposed to be healthy and soothe your body and give you the nutritions you need. No, it's supposed to be, I enjoy this. Am I going to regret this later? Maybe, but I enjoy this, you know? Um, crossover. D, and only because it depends on what type of crossover and what fandoms, right? Obviously, Marvel and Danny Phantom, I never thought I would enjoy that crossover, but I only enjoy it because of that one fanfic. You know which fanfic I'm talking about, the fanfic that's supposed to be coming out today and tomorrow, but obviously that podfic is uh, for now uh, on hiatus. Uh, I'm trying to think of another one, or uh, My Hero Academia crossover with any other uh, magical fandoms. Right? It just, it, it depends basis per basis, which is why I'm putting it in D because standalone thinking about crossovers, it, I'm just, I just don't enjoy it that much. I'll still read them, but, uh, it's not something I obviously seek out for. Dark fic. I'm going to take this as like dead dove do not eat. Uh, at least I think that's what it's like meant to be like dead dove do not eat. Uh, hopefully it is, you know, the dead dove do not eat psychological horror. Um, it's also D because if it's psychological horror, it goes on B. Because I really do love psychological horror. Especially, like, I don't know, uh, unreliable narrators, right? Where, like, it's like, oh my god, this is happening, this is happening. And then it turns out your narrator is not reliable. They're either hallucinating, they're lying to you. Or a bunch of variety of things. Uh, unreliable narrator. Um, just psychological horror in general is really good. Um... But if it's in the sense of dead dove do not eat, check your tags, do be warned. Dead dove do not eat normally means any tag that is above that you see in this fic, take it with like 100%. If you see major character death, expect the most gruesome death because dead dove do not eat. You saw that. What else are you expecting? You know? Um... Basically, dead dub do not eat is like, you see all those tags up there? Take them dead ass seriously. And some of them multiply it by double, <laughs> you know? Um, so again, it depends. Because I know a lot of people use dead dub do not eat as just like a whole, this is really gross. I don't know why you're um, viewing this. And others use it as all these tags you see, take them serious and double it. You know, double time, you know? Um, so it just, again, depends on, on that. Again, check your tags. Uh, major character death. Oh, I, I didn't click it. I thought I clicked it. Um, ooh, okay. I'll put it over Coffee Shop AU and, uh, above Crackfic. Okay. Major character death is really good. I really do enjoy major character death. Um, if written properly, if written properly, obviously. Um, or, or major character death baiting. I love that too. But uh, I'm trying to think of a fanfic where uh, major character death was in it, and 
um, none come to mind. I've read so many fanfics, dude. <laughs> um, they all go over my mind sometimes, but, um, no, yeah, this is a, definitely a good one, but, uh, obviously it's, it's tricky because killing off a major character can be quite, um, hard to do and you have to pace it properly. And I know character deaths in general are hard. Canon Divergency. We're going into S. I really do like Canon Divergency, right? Uh, the, the what ifs kind of things. It, it's really interesting. I really like it. Um, I'm going to put inks over it though. Um, it, it's, it's a, it's, it's a go-to fanfic, you know? Um, it's the classic. If you think of fanfic, you think of this. At least when I started off with fanfiction, when I thought of fanfiction, that's what I thought of. You know, the, My Hero Academia, but what if, or, um, or not Marvel, because at the time when I started, I, what fanfictions did I read when I started reading fanfiction? Oh my god, I just got the answer, and I don't want to share that out loud. Okay, enemies to lovers. I don't need to explain myself. Enemies to lovers. Do I really need to explain myself? I don't. It, it's enemies to lovers, okay? If written properly, I know some people read it really wrong, but enemies to lovers fast burn is not a good combo. Enemies to lovers slow burn, um, one fell first, one fell harder kind of situation. Enemies to lovers is a tricky thing to do because obviously, um, we have the obvious situation of you have to write a little bit of chemistry in the enemy's arc, right? And you have to make the transition from enemies to lovers believable, right? Or at least slash kind of relievable, you know? Um, you have to pace it correct because if you don't pace it correct, it it's, mm, is it really like good? Is it really believable kind of thing? And um, I don't know. I feel like enemies to lovers fast burn does not make any sense in my mind. Um, I've never seen it work out properly, right? Rivals to lovers is a different thing. That can be fast burn, obviously, because rivalry can lead to rape, but enemies to lovers? Yeah, no. That has to be slow burn, absolutely, right? I read a, a fanfic once that uh, I think a friend recommended to me and was just like, oh my god, enemies to lovers, it's a fast burn. I'm like, I do not like enemies to lovers when it's a fast burn, and my friend's like, I promise you it's really good. I read it, and it's just like, okay, this isn't enemies to lovers. They aren't enemy, they are rivals, right? They are rivals. Honestly, they could classify as star-cross lovers, right? Um, but they're, they're rivals, right? Which the fast, you know, the fast burn makes sense with the, the rivals to lovers, right? Um, okay, established relationship. Also S, uh, I'll put it behind enemy syllabus. I do enjoy a good established relationship. Sometimes, you know what, no. No, yeah, we'll keep it there. Sometimes, as much as I love uh, fast burns, my biggest problem is when 95% um, of the fanfic is the getting to the relationship and then they get into the relationship and then the fanfic ends, right? Times I do enjoy when that happens is when it's in a series and then the next fic, the next part of the fic, um, turns out to be the established relationship part of the fan fiction where it continues off, right? I recently read a fanfic and I'm actually currently reading a fanfic, um, a called Hold Up. It's not called Hold Up. Give me a second. Okay, I'll show you guys and oh, what did I do? I'll show you guys like this, uh, add a row below, there you go, and then, okay, well, it doesn't want to do that, it hates us, Tell, uh, Tettle Tell, uh, by Lipstick Ven Venmo on AO3, it is a really good fanfic, it is, um, it is less, it, it's a, it's a rivals to lovers, I don't know, it's a, not not enemies to lovers, not necessarily rivals to lovers, but I don't trust you to lovers. Uh, a little bit of idiots to lovers, if we're being honest. But it is a uh, present mic, uh, uh, vigilante and uh, eraser head uh, hero, and they, they they fall obviously in love. But uh, they actually get together at the end of that fanfic, and then the following fanfic is them in their relationship, which I am enjoying, because once I finish that fanfic, I'm like, no, what do you mean it just ended? You build up such a, which is why I really like established relationships, especially when it's paired up with, like, something else, because, like, 
you did all this build up for the relationship. You set up such an interesting world and such an interesting dynamic. I want to see more of it. I just don't want to see the how they, like, I don't just want to see how they got together. I want to see how they are together, right? You build up so much for them to be together just to rip it away from us. Like, it's why I really do not like fast burns. That is just the whole book. Sometimes I do enjoy it. Sometimes I don't, right? Personally, what I would love is like, we get a fanfic where a lot of the fanfic is them getting together. And then like the rest of the fanfic, like half and half, maybe like 60, 40, right? Is them being in a relationship and stuff like that. And we seeing the dynamic. Or of course you could do what this uh, person did or some other people also do that I see, which is one fanfic is them getting together. The next one is their established already relationship. And we follow through with how they are in a relationship where the conflict isn't just, are they going to get together? The conflict is, how are they going to work around? Stuff like that. Like, for example, the vigilante uh, Hisashi and Hiro Shota. It is, it's a very interesting one because they're treading a, a, a very thin line considering that um, Hisashi is a wanted vigilante, right? Obviously, people don't know his identity, but he is a wanted, you know, vigilante and obviously has enemies. And Shota is an underground hero who also has enemies, and if this were to come out, it could ruin both of them, right? Stakes are high, but they're still trying to make it work because they they like each other, they love each other, they appreciate and, like, enjoy each other's company, right? Established relationship could be really good. Okay, fairy tale AU. We're gonna put it in B. I, it's gonna be above sharing a bed. I really like the fairy tale AU, um... Sometimes it could be a standalone. Honestly, it could be a standalone gen fairy tale AU fanfic, and I would be fine with it. It's uh, it's a very interesting kind of dynamic kind of thing, and I quite enjoy it a lot. Okay, fake relationship. We're gonna put it over here. Um, uh, well, there you go. I genuinely really love a fake relationship. I recently read uh, Eraser Mike fake relationship where they were, um, it, it, uh, the media believed that, you know, Hisashi and Shota were married because Hisashi in a moment of panic during a, a, a hospital visit, or not a hospital visit, but like Shota was admitted into the hospital and Hisashi saw blood and was super worried and they weren't letting him in just out of nowhere when like, I'm, I'm, I'm not family, no, uh-uh. And then the nurse is like, are, are you, are you a spouse? And Hisashi's like, yep, uh-huh, uh-huh, let me in. <laughs> and um, obviously that nurse is like, hey, yo, so Twitter. <laughs> and it just went out and they were not forced, but decided, hey, we're outwardly out apparently now. And uh, it's actually making good improvements of, you know, hero society. There's more heroes coming out and, uh, it's seeming to have a good positive change. We could just pretend to be married, right? So it's it's a little bit of a combination of arranged marriage and fake relationship. It's a fake marriage. It's not necessarily a fake relationship, but I count it as a fake relationship, you know? Fix it, fix. We're going up here. We're going up here. We're going up here. I love fix it, fix. I love them so much. Like, please. Sometimes... The media you have, it could be really good and really amazing, but then there's just that one thing that really bugs you and you could find a fic that fixes it for you and you just enjoy it. You enjoy it. Bluff. We're putting it up here. Um, we're going to put fluff over here with angst. I know that I put fluff over angst, but that is because fluff on alone can be good. Angst alone, I believe, is not good. Angst just to be angsty is not good. Fluff just to be fluffy is good because sometimes you just need to feel good. I know sometimes you, people need to feel like, you know, ugh, you know, but personally, I, I it's not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. If it's your cup of tea, if you like consuming spoons full of salt, go ahead. Personally, I'm going to have my spoonful of uh, sugar. Thank you very much. Or a mixture of two. Sweet and salty is a good combination. Just saying. Um... And I'm still, yeah, okay. Friends to lovers. Friends to lovers is good. Um, I feel like it's a tad bit basic. We could switch it up a little bit. Childhood friends to lovers, you know, kind of thing. A strained friends to lovers, like friends drift apart. 
come back together, become lovers kind of situation, you know? Um, it just depends. I'm going to put fake relationship over major character death. You know, I'm going to put that over there. Yeah. Coffee shop I use stays there, though. Genfic. I do enjoy a genfic a bit more than an established relationship. I think that is my whole um, uh, Shoto Aizawa and Hisashi Yamada adopting Izuku Midoriya talking, but let's be honest, it is good. It is good. And sometimes I really like uh, just fix where the like romance isn't the main point, right? Like fix it fix. Personally, some fix it fits that I've read of My Hero Academia um, are gen fix. Like obviously romance is in there, but it is not the central point of the story, um, which I love. Hurt Comfort. I don't even need to say more. Her comfort quite literally is this two combined. But I feel like it is a more complex version. It's just, it's not just like black and white, you know? Because I feel like her comfort is like, frick, okay, I feel comforted. I feel good about this. But at the same time, ah, you know? Um, ah, amnesia fic. I just got reminded because I heard her comforts here. I once read a book, not a fanfic, a book where these two were combined, and oh my god, the amnesia park happened at the end, and ugh, it was, it was heartbreaking, it was, it was heartbreaking. Historical AU. Haven't read it? Haven't read it. I'm putting it a D because I have not read any historical AUs, and I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, high school AU. Again, right next to the, I think fairy tale AU is a bit more interesting, and I'll put that there. Um, uh, I do feel high school AU is a bit more interesting than college AU because with high school AU, you, you get introduced with like, um, you get to mix it up with like home life and stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, huddle for warmth. We're going to put it F simple because I've never read a good one. I think I, I'm actually not quite sure what this means. It's either you're literally huddling for warmth in the fanfic or there is so much angst and you're just grasping at the fluff. And if it is the so much angst, you're grasping at the fluff, we're putting it in F. Uh, humor. Next to the crack fix, putting it below crack fix because I feel like crack fix are a, a superior level of humor. Drunken confessions. I'm not going to try to say it. <laughs> Drunken confessions. We're going to put it here. Our canon diversity is a bit, yeah. Or, yeah, here. Here. I think drunken confessions are really interesting and I really like them. First kiss. Uh, we're gonna put it okay, drunken confessions is gonna go over here. Or uh, yeah, like that. Uh first kiss. There you go. There you go. Magic AU. We're gonna put it over fairy tale AU because I feel like magic AU is a bit more higher. If we're talking about my hero academia, because it's already magic, but any other fandom miscommunication can I add a separate I'm not gonna add a separate one but I desperately want to add a second one we're gonna put it all the way down well actually no banger die is still worse than that I really don't like miscommunication I feel like okay if written correctly it can be good but at the same time it's like <sighs> miscommunication genuinely feels like a cheap cheapskate a cheap knock like uh, a cheap here problem Haha, <laughs> look at that. I'm like, ugh, I don't like it. I genuinely don't like it. Missing scenes. I'm trying to remember. I cannot remember. I think this is what it, um, oh, this would be down over here. Huddle for warmth would be. I feel like huddle for warmth is still worse than, okay, no, I feel like, yeah, huddle, huddle for warmth is still worse than, uh, miscommunication. Okay, uh, missing scenes, I feel like it's like, you're not getting the full picture of the fanfic, which it's interesting, I guess. Uh, mutual pining. I don't need to com I don't need to sex pollen. Okay, it depends. I read this one sex pollen fanfic. It was a Hisashi vampire and um, Shota blood bag, and uh, let's just say Shota's blood had a certain effect to the vampire. And uh, it was completely consensual, right, obviously. Um, so when it's consensual, it's, I'll put it in D. Uh, I'll put it in, yeah, I'll put it in D. 
I'll put it uh, uh, right there seems good. Yeah, right there seems good. Um, I feel like it it needs a plot. If it's just a one shot of just sex pollen, I do not like it. Again, I do not like my smut with plot. I like my plot with smut, right? I, d I don't... I need to be invested in the characters and the dynamic of that specific fanfic for me to actually enjoy the smut. Just like how I need to be invested just to enjoy the fluff or, or, or the angst. Alright, um, ah, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna, no, I just got scared. Uh, <laughs> okay, pregnancy fic. We're gonna put it here, uh, we're gonna put it here. Yeah, we're gonna put it there. PWP, we're gonna put it a bit below sex ballin'. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. I think this one's a bit better than both of these. Yeah, I like that. Okay, royalty AU, we're gonna put it over here and we're gonna keep it there. Well, I feel like, yeah, there you go. There you go. Slow burn. I don't need to explain myself. Soulmate AU. I don't need to explain myself. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually move this one. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I feel like, mm. Okay, we're gonna put it over here. And we're gonna put it over here. We're gonna put this one right there. There you go. Okay. See, I'm switching these up, moving them around. I'm keeping that one in. I'm keeping that notification in. Have fun with that, Vale. Have fun with knowing that is out online. But then again, you say it in my Discord server, which, by the way, if you haven't joined, you should join. Time loop. Time loop could be a little repetitive. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> um, if written correctly, I really do enjoy a time loop. Love triangle. Um, unhappy ending. We're going to put it... We're going to put it here only because unhappy endings make me sad, but I do enjoy them. <laughs> okay, love triangle. I'm going to call it a love V because let's be honest, that's what it is. I'm going to keep it there. Yeah, I'm going to keep it there. Unrequited love. You just like to see me hurting. And it's working. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put it there. Um, unrequited love mixed with something like the stardust disease, like the you crying stardust and, or like crystal thingies and you go blind or you, uh, the Hanahaki disease. Ugh. Oh my God. Chef's kiss. This is my little thingy. Look at that. Amazing. Wonderful. On to the next one. Oh, we're going to have fun with this one. Okay. I'm pregnant. Okay. Not a... Look, I don't actively go out to read it, but if it's there, it's there. Near-death confession. I like it a normal amount. I am a normal person when it comes to this. Book story of you. I am a normal person when it comes to this. I feel like I, I like near-death confession just a tad bit more than book story of you. Uh, Idiots in love. These are my antidepressants. Idiots in love is my antidepressants, okay? Idiots in love, I, I like to clarify. Um... Because I don't think I clarified in the other one. Or uh, Idiots in Love wasn't in the other one. Idiots in Love is like um, mutual pining friend, friends to lovers or um, or whatever. Like, it's, it's basically these two are mutually pining for each other. And it's kind of obvious. But they're both oblivious. They're both idiots. And then they become lovers. Right? So Idiots to Lovers. Body Swap. Again, not a really fan. I'm putting Empreg above Body Swap. Don't ask me. Um, <laughs> don't ask me. I already told you about the Body Swap thing. Uh, meet the family. I like it a normal amount. I like it a bit more than uh, near death confession. Gender swap. Well, I don't actively go searching for it. Empire goes up top. I'm, I'm joking. Uh, unrequited. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> unrequited love. Uh, I like this a normal amount. I I actually like these two a bit more than that. Flower shop by you. Um, I like it a normal amount. Miss. Uh, and they were room, I'll put it, it's a no for me, and they were roommates, um, let's see, there you go, okay, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, I like that, okay, meet the family, if it's like a one shot, I do not like it, I want a whole develop, like, I want this as a tag, like, oh, they eventually meet the family kind of thing, you know, 
Um, there's a lot of things where it's like, personally, I actually am not a big fan of one shots. The only reason I do one shots on uh, yesterday's videos, aka Wednesday's videos, is because I know that's how it's going to get me more traction. And I know a lot of people prefer one shots over series. Also, because um, I wanted to do two, uh, two series, like two, a pair of days series. I wanted to do it in a way where it's like I do uh, one series, two videos, two days. Um, two videos today, two videos today, but there's seven and there's one, you know, it's, it's an odd number. So one would be out. I'm like, okay, Wednesday I'll do one shots. Cause I know some people prefer one shots and I'll do one shots, uh, on a weekly, even though I was genuinely thinking of doing, uh, one shots on Wednesdays and then, uh, Mondays and Fridays as a, as an extra video. But, um, the, the trouble about one shots is getting them because it's, it's with the series, I could get the permission of one and I'm good to go for like a good month or two, right? At the minimum, I'm good to go for a month at, uh, you know, the longest, probably like a couple months, right? Like a good couple months. I'm good to go for at least a month, right? And with the, with the one shots, it's just one week and then y the next week you got to scramble, right? Um, okay. Western Zayu. Uh, it's a no for me. It's still better than miscommunication. Fanny, fantasy shop AU. Fantasy shop? Fantasy... I don't know why I said fantasy shop, but fantasy AU. Uh, I feel like it's a bit above those. Those um, Major character death. Um, angst. It cures my depression. That is hilarious. <laughs> it cures my depression. It gives me depression. Can I add that? No. No, no. Uh, detective AU. Uh, I'll put it a bit... I'll put it a bit above that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I'll actually put this one where it's supposed to go. It's below near-death confession. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay, dark fic. Again, the same thing. I'm not an active fan of it. I won't look for it, but it is above. Uh, five plus one. I... These are just one-shots. And, um... Not a fan, but I'll still read. It's very interesting. For those who don't know what five plus one is, it's basically five similar scenes plus one random scene. Um, heist fic. Uh, I've actually never read it before, but like I wouldn't say no. Same with this one. I feel like I would be more interested in reading a heist fic. PWP. Look, I'm not a fan. I'm not actively searching for it, but if it's there, it's there. Arranged marriage, I feel like... And they were roommates is a bit, uh, there you go. Uh, X reader slash self insert drunken confession. Drunken confession is really into <laughs> I'm going to go back to that. <laughs> okay. I just so fast. Okay. Ugh. It's a no for me. It's a no for me only because I feel like half of the times it, it is self insert and I'm not really interested. Um, I don't know. I'm just not really interested. I'll stick to character AI and role-playing with friends. Uh, drunken confession. Oh my god. I should do that. Hold up. Not drunken confession. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second. I was thinking about this and role-playing, and then I, a role-play idea came into my head. Not drunken- I would like to confess that I will not be doing a drunken confession. There's no one to confess to. There's no one to confess to. Okay. Um, drunken confessions. Where am I going to put this? I think it's really interesting. Uh, better, better than, there you go. Well, uh, well, yep. Yeah, ah, ah, ah. Okay. Here. <laughs> Struggling. Okay. Baby fic. Um, I feel like it's better than arranged marriage. I think it's a little bit better than drunken confession. Is it better than, yeah, yeah. I'm regret, yeah. It's not better than near death confession. Okay, near... Okay, hold up. Um, better. Better. Is it... Major character? Okay, I think it falls there. Alright, uh, just... Heart comfort. Cures my depression. King thick. I... Have I ever read this? I don't think I have. Okay, I still would in, be interested in a heist fic rather than a kink fic. Not saying that they're bad or anything. I just, I don't, 
actually ever think I've read kink fix because I think most of them are one shots I believe I don't know uh original characters oh my god they could burn in hell who would write an original character fan fiction this is sarcasm and a joke because I'm writing one <laughs> I think it's actually really interesting to introduce a new character. It adds something new into the the already existing things. I don't know. I, I, I personally really do enjoy it if written well and correctly, so I'm going to put it in my antidepressants. It doesn't cure my depression, but it does soothe it. Um, modern day AU. Most of the things I read are in modern day, so I haven't really read anything that would be considered modern day AU because... Most of the fan fictions I read are from fandoms that are already in quote unquote modern day. The only one I can think of is um, My Hero Academia, where it would quote unquote be modern day if we, because I don't even think we know when exactly My Hero Academia takes place. Um, but the only thing I can think of is when it's like it's a quirkless society, whatever. Uh, sharing a bed, I um, think it's a little better than if they were roommates. Because, like, roommates, it's like you're already established. You live in the same household. This is, like, a new environment, new things, new dynamic. Ugh, introduces a whole thing. Uh, where's the, where's the detective? Where's the detective? There you go. Uh, okay. I feel like it's better than meet the family. And we'll keep it out there. Sex pollen. There you go. Bodyguard. Ooh. 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 Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. Uh, no arrangement. No. Um. The the. There we go. Bodyguard. I. Bodyguard X. You know, who's being protected? Oh, I. I I just find this interesting. A really interesting dynamic. It's an actual a dynamic that I'm gonna do in a role play where it's a uh, it's actually bodyguard slash assassin X singer. <laughs> Because, funny, haha, -ha, um, don't worry, the bodyguard slash assassin does not end up assassinating the singer. You know, the singer still dies, though. Just not because of the bodyguard. Time loop. I feel like time loop is very interesting. Um, so we'll keep it there. Um, is it better than, mo it's not better than major character death. There you go. All right. Bang or die. It's a no for me. Genfic. Genfic. Do, 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 do. There you go. Sickfic. Ooh, okay. These are normally one shots. Um, I've I don't think I've ever read one, but I would be very interested in reading one. Soulmate AU. I'll put it above the crime and fantasy AU. Domesticity uh cures my depression cures my depression fix a fix also cure my depression there you go mutual pining cures my depression heart comforts better there you go i forget that this one has doubles okay enemies to lovers cures my depression we're we're getting to the ones where it's like curing depression um we're moving this to here yeah, we're moving this here. Idiots in Love is a bit better than that. There you go. Um, yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, I, I was just making sure all that's good. College AU. Uh, bookstore. Bookstore. Oh, college AU again. Sci-Fi AU. Never read. I feel like I'd be a little more interested in sci-fi than heist, though. Uh, college AU again. Uh, friends to lovers. Friends to lovers is, I like it a normal amount. I'm a normal person when it comes to this. Coffee shop AU? Above all these AUs except soulmate AU. Baby fic, I believe it's on there already. Okay, hitman slash target. It's what I was talking about before. It's a very interesting dynamic. I do like it. Jealousy, uh, not my cup of tea. I wouldn't say no, but it's like, no. well, I wouldn't say no. Never read it, wouldn't say no. Mm, no, I just wouldn't say no. I'll put it, it's a no for me. I, I like how I'm saying I wouldn't say no, but I'm saying no. <laughs> Established relationship. Uh, I'm a normal person when it comes to this. A holiday fix. Never read it. Wouldn't say no. Unhappy ending. Uh, 
there. Uh, the missing, never read it, wouldn't say no. I'll say it's there. Okay, uh, uh where would he put established relationship high school? It's a bit interesting, more than college AU, crack fix, they cure my depression, amnesia, it's a no for me, and enemy still lovers, I believe we already put it? Yeah, we did. All right, and that is, that is all, that is my, that is my thingy, look at that. There's only one burn in hell, <laughs> uh, and for good reason, too. I don't know, it's, it's, it's giving non-Kong, and I don't like it. Okay, we got this under an hour. I kind of sped run that last one, but um, I really hope you enjoyed this video because I, I really enjoyed making it. And um, there's more of this to come, more videos like these to come. I have a lot of ideas to do this and, and, and like different ways of doing this and different ideas for uh, this specific um, cloud. I guess we could cut this specific type of videos. Like obviously there's the ranking ones. I have uh, some ideas of like playing uh, dating simulators, right? Which if you squint real hard can be related to fan fiction or like me doing voice lines for characters, right? Stuff that I'm, I'm, I'm looking into that I think would be really interesting. And if you really do enjoy my content and specifically, I, I see a lot of people think, or uh, not a lot of people, but I've seen comments uh, a couple times, but they just genuinely enjoy, um, my very chaotic energy, I guess. I don't know how I have chaotic energy, but apparently I do. No idea how that happened. Um, but this is just a little more of you guys getting to know me a little bit better. And you know what? I would love if you guys are in the discord to share what you ranked of these two um, down in, like, the general chat, or I don't know what it's called, common chat, I think I put it common or general, whatever, the, the, the main chat, and I would love to see them, and I would love to discuss if you think I maybe made a mistake or something, I don't know, and I know I am doing this as a, a live, not a live, hold up, give me a second, as a premiere, so I see you live chat if you're watching this still, hi, little heart for you, um, but I cannot wait to, to see your guys' reaction to this, see you guys' uh, ratings of this and stuff like that. Uh, it's, it's a very interesting topic. And uh, hopefully one day I am able to do a random video and I don't know, rank with a fan where we sit there and talk about rankings and agree on rankings together. I feel like that would be a very interesting thing to do. But as always, make sure to eat, sleep, drink water, Take your meds. Have a wonderful day or night. Join our community Discord server. Link is in the description. Subscribe to see more of my content. And thank you so much for watching.